Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Make America Lit, back with another NBA 2K23 video. And in today's video, I'm going to be ranking all of the playmaking badges in NBA 2K23. So let's just jump straight into the video now. As you can see on the screen, to save us a little time, I actually rank the badges already. So this is my official ranking. If you do guys, uh, if you guys do care uh, to see what my ranking and stuff like that is, um, but yeah, let's let's just jump into why I actually ranked these things the way that I ranked them. So, um, for starters, quick first step is the best playmaking badge in the game. We already know quick first step is a very you know staple badge since it's been introduced. It's been the best playmaking badge in the game, hands down. Um, same for handles for days. Handles for days is such an important badge because it's going to help reduce like your stamina loss while dribbling with the ball. And that's very vital because as you know, shooting, you know, uh, is greatly impacted by stamina. You have low stamina, you're probably not going to make the shots or you're going to have a fatigue penalty that, you know, applies to your shot. So it's going to be harder for you to green your shot. It's going to be harder for you to make shots in general. So, you know, handles for days is very important. And then unpluckable, we already know how ridiculous steals are in this game. So unpluckable is just basically... Uh, unpluckable is oxygen in this game like you you don't even consider this like a, a necessity because it's like literally without this i'd be dead like you know oxygen isn't even a necessity to a human being because it's like literally without oxygen we die you know what i'm saying so i don't even consider this th this shouldn't even be on the list like unpluckable is just automatically applied like oxygen to a human it doesn't even exist for us like it's just you know a given you know uh moving on clamp breaker uh, very vital badge, um, especially paired with quick first step. Very important for, uh, you know, beating people off the dribble and stuff like that. It's going to help you get to the rim. Uh, mismatch expert, uh, similar in the sense that, you know, taller, shorter players are going to have a uh, easy ability to get around and beat players, you know, off the dribble and stuff like that and blow past them, you know, over taller guys and stuff like that. So that just goes hand in hand with like a clamp breaker and quick first step. So that's why to me it's an A tier badge. Um, same thing with hyperdrive, speeding up your dribble uh, on the go, your dribble moves as you're moving and stuff like that on the go. Um, very, very important to beating people off the dribble and stuff like that, getting open, beating your man to the basket. And then finally bailout which is going to help you with throwing better passes, especially while being double team. But also while, you know, you like to drive and kick, a lot of guards like to drive and kick and hit the open man and stuff, bring the help defender to them. That's going to make your driving kicks more successful. You'll throw less bad passes when going up with like layups and dunks and then passing out of them and stuff like that. Or when you catch a shoot, a sh catch and shoot a shot and you catch it and realize you're being contested, you try to pass out, bailout is going to help you with that as well as when you throw passes when you're being double teamed. The bailout is just a really good all-around badge, in my opinion. It's just so useful in so many different situations that, you know, I feel like it's an A-tier badge. Uh, moving on, we have uh, Needle Threader, which uh, is going to help you with, you know, getting your pass through tight windows and stuff like that. Throwing less turnovers, like, while, you know, not necessarily one of the best badges in the game it's definitely up there so that's why i have it in b tier same thing with post playmaker post playmaker is basically dimer for big men except you're more likely to grab a rebound and throw the ball out versus you are to, to just be handling the ball and throwing a, a a dime or assist like that as a center so that's why i have post playmaker in the b category and that's why i have it over actual dimers so you know definitely post playmaker and then break starters again for the big men you know you get that rebound need to chuck that pass down and stuff like that just the bronze level alone is a tremendous boost i haven't really thrown that many turnovers while just having this batch on bronze with like a 60 pass accuracy obviously pass accuracy goes higher but just sitting at a 60 and i haven't had too many bad passes with this just being on bronze so that's why i rock this on bronze and i have it in the b tier because it is actually a very useful badge don't even really need it at super high levels either for it to be useful um in the c tier category i have floor general and dimer and these badges only really beneficial when you play them with like randoms you know and you feel like they don't know their shot they need that extra boost to hitting their shots or they need that extra attribute boost or you know just being able to score or something like that or dribble you know that's when floor general and dimer come in same thing with vice grip very very situational when you catch passes when you pick up loose balls 
and of course when you get rebounds so you know for big men now probably would slide into the b category in my opinion but for everybody else that's like more like a c tier category which is why i got it in the c tier um then we have killer combos you know what i'm saying and killer combos is uh again this is a very preference based batch i don't really try to spam dribble moves or do too many dribble moves i'm like two or three moves and then if i can't get nothing in those two three moves i'm passing the ball i feel like the more you dribble the ball in this game the more likely you are to get ripped so i don't do a lot of dribbling two three dribble moves if i can't get nothing in those two three moves pass it somebody else can have that i'm not about to get turnover you know what i'm saying so that's why I really have uh, killer combos in C tier because it's, it's preference. If you are one of those dudes that like to do a bunch of dribble moves and stuff like that, like the ISO, this this is probably goes up to even an A tier for you. But for me, personally, me, I don't play that style of game because steals are just too prevalent in this game for me to even risk dribbling like that around somebody. And it would be one thing if you couldn't dribble around locks or only people with 90, 95 steals was getting steals easy like that. But everybody getting steals like that. You can have a 30 steal, 40 steal, and you're still ripping people left and right. So I don't even really try to dribble too much because of that. So that's why this badge is C tier for me. But for others, it might be higher. That's cool if it is. You know, leave me a comment down below and let me know what your top five uh, or what your ranking is, excuse me, for uh, the playmaking badges in this game. But moving on, we have special delivery. And special delivery is C tier because me personally, I don't really throw flashy passes like this. But I do like the aspect of alley-oop passes, so that's why I have this in C tier. If you're a type of player who, again, preference-wise, you would like to throw alley-oops, you like to spam alley-oop passes and stuff like that, you're calling out to people when to cut back door and stuff, then yeah, special delivery will definitely go crazy for you. Even more so if the person you're throwing these oops to has aerial wizard, then you're really going to be cleaning up and getting like a lot of scores and stuff like that. And then finally, our last badge that's in the D tier category is Ankle Breaker, and this badge is absolutely dog shit okay don't use this badge under any circumstances this badge is as i haven't broken a single person or dropped a single person in the game with ankle breaker i ran hall of fame ankle breaker i ran hall of fame ankle breaker with playmaking takeover and still couldn't take anybody's ankles bro so yo ankle breaker is a waste don't even bother just delete it bro don't do it save your playmaking points put it anywhere else but ankle breaker okay so there you have it that has been my ranking for all of the playmaking badges in NBA 2K23, it's been your boy Make America Lit. Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K23 content, badge breakdown videos, and of course, more ranking videos just like this. I'm out, guys. Peace.